Okay, I'm changing the forum a little bit today because of this one <laughs> one song that's out. It's been out since May, actually. So it's been out for almost three months. And all of a sudden, everybody gets in an uproar. So I'm going to talk about anger. Um, it's never a good thing. Um, anger comes in all shapes, sizes, forms, and... And cultures alike, different people are angry about different things. And then sometimes they get angry about something just by looking at who's singing a song. Yes, I'm talking about Jason Aldean's song, Try That in a Small Town. I've listened to that song over and over again. And there's not one single line in it that is racial. None of it. None of the videos are racial. And as a matter of fact, I've actually gone beyond that, beyond my own visualization of it. And I've actually watched some videos by people of color who have, are wondering, and at least they were inquisitive enough to watch it for themselves to see why is everybody, not everybody, but why is this percentage, small percentage of people in an uproar over it. And of all people, uh, some of them are individuals who lyrics I would never listen to. And we know who she is. Um, it's the most vulgar lyrics I've ever heard, and yet she gets a pass. And I'm not going to mention any names because I'm not a name dropper. But when you're called a racist by people who don't even know you, that's when you kind of have to speak up. And... So I'm speaking up here. So this is what we need to talk about. So let's get real. The real thing is this. You have a gentleman who has written a song, and it's about criminal activity. Plain and simple. There's nothing in that that says one race is better than the other, which is the meaning and the definition of racism, by the way. And I don't even like talking about it. Because it's not going to go away till we stop talking about it. You ever notice that everybody's fine until someone says that R word? And you ever notice that it's usually the left side that is telling us that, you know, there's this division? Well, the division is because they're making it. I mean, it's... The world has gone haywire. I mean, now we have... People that are victims of a crime, and now they're looked upon as if they're the criminal. And the world has turned topsy-turvy, upside down, and that's signs the last times. And yes, I said it. And I said it here. That these are signs of the end times. And if you don't believe in them, then you need to read the book. And if you don't, re if you don't believe the book, then you're going to be S-O-L when that day comes. Because he's coming back. So back to the anger thing. People are getting angry at this song. And there's other songs out there, I'm sorry, that are a lot worse than this one is. And they get a pass. There are so many rap songs and uh, other kinds of songs that just are just shouldn't be played. And yet this is someone stating fact. You know, people think they can go up and carjack a, a person, then go up and just blindsidedly hit some old lady, you know, go into a liquor store and rob it, and that's okay. So that's what this song talks about. Nowhere in it does it say anything about racism. Nowhere. Not one of the video clips is predominantly showing one race or the other in a bad light. They are all evenly spread out. There are actual video clips, news clips, that were put on the news. Did anybody have a problem with them when they were on the news? Well, we should have, because those kinds of riot and so-called peaceful protests, which weren't peaceful at all, should never happen. This is America. I mean, this gentleman, Mr. Aldine, is speaking of how in a close-knit community, a small town, people look out for one another. 
And why is that wrong now? Why is it all of a sudden wrong for people to band together and be supportive of one another, to help one another out? Why is that bad now? I don't get it. And people are hating this man and they're hating the song and they're saying it has all these dog whistles and trigger whatever the heck you want to call it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? You know, there's so many people who want to find something to be angry about because of choices they've made in their own lives. And that's what the real deal is. There are too many people, and this is one person's opinion, and then I, have, I know other people who feel the same way. But when I'm called a racist, and I'm not, I have friends of all races, close friends of all races. So for someone to say, because I disagree with their point of view, that I'm a racist. That's the problem. People are out there now throwing that R word around as if it's just like, you know, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know, like it's, it's, it's normal. And you know what? It's not. You know, if you look at the true definition, it is when one, one particular entity or race goes out of their way to prove and to put down and to make subservient, like they have supreme order over another race. That song has nothing to do with that. There's nothing racist about it. Go to YouTube. I challenge anyone that has the, the guts to do it. Go to YouTube and look at all of the commentaries of individuals of the opposite race. And how they watch the video and they can't figure out where you all are coming from that are having all this hate towards a man who's just out there making a song that makes a point. He's pointing out facts. And at no one time does he say, who's doing those crimes? He just says the crimes themselves have got to stop. And if you try to take those crimes to a small town, they're not going to have it because they don't want that crap going on in their town. You know, that's... That's their home. That's the, where they live. They, they want to feel safe and secure. And if they have to have, you know, their own firearms to protect themselves from that type of crime, well, then they should be allowed to do it. It's a Second Amendment for Pete's sake. You know, it's really sad that everything has turned out to be, they've got to make it black and white. And it's not black and white. It has nothing to do, it has to do with political agendas. And that's all this is. And everyone is falling into the trap. Except this old gal. I don't fall into that trap because I use my own brain. And I'm not going to... I wasn't born yesterday. I sure as heck wasn't born last night. And if you can't see the forest for the trees. And if you can't see the subversive tactics that are being done. You know, to pull a mu music video from CMT. Just because... There's a small handful that are raising a stink and being real loud and noisy and obnoxious about it. That's folding. And that's, that's sad because that's not what this country was founded on. You know, freedom of speech. Yeah, unless you're one color or the other, I guess. But not in my world. We may have a difference of opinion, but I will never call you anything like that word. Because... That's not between me and you. That's between you and God. You know, to call someone else the R word, then they have a problem. Because there's something going on that makes them think they know what it means when they really don't. The ones that do know what it means, don't use it. You understand what I'm saying? That we're not living in Hitler's day, okay? But we are living in a day where people are too busy using their energies to hate on each other when they should be supporting one another and figuring out how to make it through <coughs> <Excuse> me. <coughs> finding a way to make this world a better place to be in. Hate's not going to do it. Drugs isn't going to do it. You know, there's crookedness everywhere. So where are the ones that, that do know right from wrong? Why aren't they standing up? Because they've been intimidated. Because they've been beaten down because of all those people that they are afraid of. Well, you better stop being afraid 
and start standing up for your rights and standing up for the fact that if someone's singing a song, it's not hurting you. It's not harming you. It's words. It's music. I mean, good grief. If if I thought music hurt me, I would be out. You know, there's a lot of lyrics out there that, and you know the ones I'm talking about, demeaning women, bashing uh, the relationship between a man and a woman, and making it something vulgar and ugly. That's not what music's for. And it shouldn't be for that. That kind of music gets stuck in a kid's brain, and then all of a sudden they think that's real life because it stores it right here. All that negative energy, all those negative words, all those ugly things that are said, calling women by the C word and the B word and all that stuff. And it's, it's just tearing down the whole world. It's not going to make it any better. If you're not part of the, if you're not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And I see a lot of problem makers out there. And I don't associate with them. And I don't associate with them because of their skin. I don't associate with them because of what they stand for and what they promote. All this ugly hate and it's supposed to be about love. The Bible says you're supposed to love one another as Christ loved the church. The church <laughs> defined as everyone on this earth that God created. We are the church. So why are we hating on everyone? Why are we hating on people in the church when God says we're supposed to love each other? And love doesn't mean that you get in bed with them. Love means that you treat them with kindness. You treat them with respect. You listen to their views. You may disagree with them. Agree to disagree. And the world goes on. But this business of trying to tear up one song and there's nothing in it that has anything to do with what it's being accused of. None. None whatsoever. People are getting triggered by a a truth. You know, the truth will set you free. And that's a fact. Because what happens when you lie? When you lie, you start saying another lie. And you'll say another lie. And so after a while, you don't know what's the lie and what's the truth. And that's what a lot of our politicians are doing to us. They're making us think their lies are truth, and they're not. And so part of that has all festered. The media jumps in on it, and they're, they're the biggest proponent of it. And that's why people don't know the truth anymore. Because they're not using their own brain. They're believing the, they're believing the garbage that they hear. And where is the humanity? We're all human. Where's the humanity in our human? Where is it? Has it gone and died? I sure to heaven hope not. Because if it has, I'm ready to go. Because there's nothing worse than living in a world where every time you turn around, Someone's calling you a racist when you're not. They're calling you a bigot when you're not. They're calling you some kind of name because it makes them feel bigger than you to do so. That's racial. When people start using those trigger words to demean and put down and knock down their fellow human being, then that's the worst thing that people can do to one another. And that's not what God put us here for. That's why we're only here on borrowed time. That's why eventually this is all going to go. This is all going to be gone. There won't be this anymore. And then nobody will be fighting anymore. They'll either be in heaven or hell. And that's a fact. Whether you believe it or not. Honestly, I don't care if you believe it or not. But somewhere deep down inside, all of you that are thinking all these ugly things and spewing it and putting it out on social media, you're going to realize one day how wrong you are. And I hope I'm not here to see what happens. Because it's not going to be good. And it won't be me. It won't be any other human being on this earth taking back this world. It'll be the creator. Vengeance is his. Not ours. Not us two-legged creatures walking around on the earth. We don't get to vengeance. He has the ultimate say-so. He created everything. And to be going on about a country song and none of the none of the none of the words in the lyrics say anything about lynching anyone or hanging anyone or you know pursuing another race or anything like that and the people that are saying it you're crazy you're absolutely crazy so 
You can leave a comment if you don't agree with me, do agree with me. Honestly, I know the truth. And the truth is, there's nothing racial about that song. But the people who are racist are making it racial. Think about that one. I'll leave you with that. If you want to talk more about it, let me know. We'll talk more. Because right now, I just could not get over how much, how strong hate is right now that it would go to the extent of attacking someone who wrote a song when words don't hurt. They may bother your feelings, but they don't physically hurt you. And those of you who say that all those things that you're saying about this song, you need to reevaluate some things. You need to look at all, like I said, I challenge you to look at videos on YouTube of individuals of your culture, whatever your culture is, and see what they said when they watched the music video. And every single one that I have watched so far that has a brain in their head and a sense of morals, morals, a moral compass, knows that this has nothing to do with being racist or lynching or any of that garbage that you all are trying to make it out to be. Jason Aldean, I love this song. It's American. It's patriotic. Even the Hodge twins, twin guys, they say that's about as patriotic as you can get because it's all about we're sick and tired of the crime. The crime needs to stop. And don't bring it to my small town because you won't get down the road very far because we won't have crime here. God bless you all. And please pray for this country because right now it is upside down.